having a bit of a frustrating time with this car at the moment. Ever since I'd done the head um, and had the tune and everything like that, the car has been difficult to start. <clears throat> it's been one of those things I've kind of just put up with a little bit. Um, but So yeah, I played it around with myself uh, two days ago. And when it was hot, I got the car starting absolutely perfect. Now, I'm not a tuning expert, but I did a lot of research and I got, I got it starting absolutely sweet. Dude. So, after work yesterday, it comes home, I thought I'd just give it a little start. It fired up a little bit spluttery, I think it was a little bit rich around tick over. So I switched it back off, I thought I'd try a second start. Do you think it would start? No. But I've got to get this sorted today now, because it's really frustrating. I've got about four hours like, booked in for an MOT. So I've got that amount of time to get this thing running. Right, so first things first, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a go trying to start the engine. Before I do anything with the plugs, we're going to give it a crank, see if we can get it going. Success. Right, if it starts now, easily, then we, we're on to progress. See, this is where I have trouble now, on it? Oh. Still slow to crank and still slow to get going. Knock him off again. So this is start number three. Like I say, it usually gets progressively worse. Now that to me is it's just not good starting that is just just poor and i've been in some situations like after i've gone filling up in the petrol station and i, I was absolutely struggling to start the thing and battery's dying so i've still got to work on it it's just not good enough for me so let's see what we can do Right, so some changes I made was messing but I, I run a little bit too much time in on cranking, okay, right? So now I found out since I've raised the compression of going up to twenty made it great for starting when it's hot, but cold cranking it's just it's just too much. So we're gonna drop down to twelve in them areas. I'm just gonna save that. So let's see if that makes a difference. Yes, that's better. So we're not going to keep him running. Like I said, I don't want the engine to get hot. So we seem to have a fairly decent cold start there. So what I'm going to do, I am going to leave the engine for a little bit to cool right down so it's as cold as I can get it. So we'll give it half an hour or so, and I'm going to come back and see how it starts with less timing on cranking. So it started up a little bit splattery. I know I can say, I can tell by the noise of the engine now that instantly it flooded one of the cylinders. So we'll give a little rev to see. If we were, if it was on other dwells, then you would have noticed that it wasn't even getting into the higher dwells there. So I need, I need to bring that up a touch. So I am going to highlight this column. I don't need to go all the way along, but I will anyway. We're going to change that now. I'm going to put that column to five. <laughs> Yes and no. I'm going to knock it off while I explain to you what I did there. The issue I'm having, and what you probably didn't realise I was doing, is this column here is, is your 500 RPM column all the way down. And then this is the amount of pedal input you're giving, going from 0, so 3%, 5 10 feet, right up to 100% throttle. So when you look, this is my fueling column. Now, obviously, as I as I accelerate more when we crank in, this is coming up because we got more pedal input. Now, this these zeros here are to try and clear flooding. 
which has been a constant problem. This is something new I've added on the advice of someone else. So what you didn't realise that I was doing, and I was trying, I would, my pedal input initially here was trying to get some fuel in, and then I go right up to full throttle to get a bit of the flood clearing so it doesn't flood, and that's when it started to fire. And then when I hear it starting to fire, I go back to half throttle around you, and then it fires up. So this is still not ideal. It's still not starting as well as I want it to, and I... I'm trying to find the issue. Let's give it a crank. Okay, so I'm knocking back off. Right, what you'll notice there, <clears throat> while I was cranking, we were in these cells. Um, it wasn't exactly wanting to fire, it was only when I got up here into the higher fuel ratio that it wanted to fire. Now we know an engine needs more fuel when it's cranking and it's cold because the fuel just vaporises in the, in the ports going in. Right, sorry, not vaporises, just goes into droplets in the port. So not as much fuel is actually making it into the, into the engine as such in a vapour. So I do need more fuel, but then what's the balance between getting enough fuel and flooding the thing? So it's going to be a bit of trial and error. So we're going to I'll up some of these. I think what I'll do is maybe here from 10% up, up to there, we shall try 30. <laughs> So what we're looking at now is my fuel coolant trim table. So based on what the temperature is of the engine, this is how the, the settings will, will fluctuate and, and affect the fuel in. As you can see it tapers off. By the time we get to um, 50 degrees, we are then at basically no added fuel. So we're running on our main V table, which we were looking at here. So this adds and slightly richens as the engine is cold. So I've transferred some changes over this hump here is slightly higher. I ignore the rest of it because by here we can be zeroed out and I'm not going to be cranking at minus 40. So I'm not going to worry about the fact that, that it's not a smooth transition because we're always going to be in this area. Oh, that was a nice start. That was a very nice start. I can live with that. Right. We know it starts cold, so what I'm going to do now is get it up to temperature, get it nice and warm, and then make sure it's starting then. Right, so temperature's coming up now, 67, close to 70 degrees. I'm going to switch off now and see what it's like starting at this, uh, at this temperature. So that's okay. With that. Right, so see now we're at 88. So I'm going to switch off and try a crank. So it does start. Like I say, I think I'm going to have to learn a little bit of finesse on the pedal on where is the best place to push through to get the fire up. Let's try again. It's a nice bit of 40-50% pedal seems to get it firing up and it might sound like a slow start and it's not firing up as quick as what a, a road car would with all the either control valves and all the other sensors so you've got to remember it is on throttle bodies and it's mapped purely on TPS only so uh, can they be better? I'm not really sure. Maybe the can, but I'm going to accept what it is like that for now. So, happy days. Hi, right, so now I'm off for my MOT. Car's done a, I've done loads of starts, hot starts, focus starts. 